I'm following you with the camera. Yeah, when I should be driving a boat. So it is uh, 0827, Monday, July 15th, 2024. Just got off the dock. Well, not our slip. Just got off the fuel dock. Got a little petrol and a pump out. And we're headed for the lake in nearly calm conditions right now. By the way, there's another 485 there. It won't show up on this. Lily. Zero six five. gotten to the welcome to Michigan sign on the first leg of our two months vacation. Is it too early to start complaining? Grousing is what I do after all. Well there's a whole laundry list of stuff that you can complain about before we even got it. Yeah well I, I fired one of them up so but uh, we can be thankful that the drivetrain is almost silky smooth it's and we have refrigeration. it kind of whish, whistles like a turbine engine right now so that's kind of nice no vibration no clattering the uh the python drive of course last year was giving us some problems so it turns out there's a place in uh, green bay that does marine parts and they were able to fabricate it never fails does it no. there we go so anyway the uh this place in green bay they took the uh, the old shaft up and showed it to them and they said oh yeah we can fabricate a new one of those uh, in fact ours will be better because uh our cv joint has 12 contact points as opposed to six in each of the joints so i guess they uh, will last longer theoretically anyway 
uh, it's about a thousand dollars, a little over a thousand dollars to have them uh, fabricate a new one, and I said make two. <laughs> so we have a spare thrust bearing and a spare drive shaft. A portion of the drive shaft that has the CV joints on it. Our drive, knock on wood, appears to be in good shape. The chart plotter in the cockpit did not work well at all last year. And I thought, well, at the very least, I'll buy a new chart plotter for the cockpit. It'll be standalone because it's not going to communicate with any of the other stuff on the boat. But we'll at least have some reliable navigation information. And that was kind of important because we were hoping to get up to some waters weir. And wow, we got some really good rollers coming in here from time to time. Not enough wind to motor sail and try to stabilize this. The sail would just be slatting all over the place. Where was I, my bitching? Uh, so you got a standalone chart plotter. So I bought a standalone chart plotter, and when we came up in April, I thought I would just uh, install it myself. Yeah, I thought I'd wire it myself, and then I got in there, and I'm like, eh, I, yeah, I don't think I better start messing with this, because when they do install the electronics, I don't want to mess something up that's going to screw up the rest of the installation so two things to note here what's wrong with this picture one should be fairly obvious uh, the other is something that's going to grate and chafe against my OCD for the rest of the time we own this boat <laughs> So I, I'm really impressed with the uh, Ray Marine and the, uh, the level of detail on their chart plotter. That's the 100 nautical mile range. Now when we get it down to, uh, well, let's back out a little bit first. Maybe go out to uh, 250 miles. Is that something or what? Amazing. And then if we uh, get down to say like uh, 20 mi five nautical miles, let's do five nautical miles. Can you believe that detail? Astonishing. So, ironically, without the navigation ship, at least where there's supposed to be dirt, it's brown, and where there's supposed to be water, it's blue. Uh, very rudimentary shape of Lake Michigan on this thing, but uh, when you put the nav ship in, all you get is a blank screen. So, this is a paperweight, a uh, roughly a $3,000 paperweight. So, and we didn't find out that this wasn't working right until last night. I had fired it up. I hadn't installed the navigation ship yet. And uh, we just didn't have time. I didn't have time to tinker with it. I actually pulled out the paper chart after we left the marina this morning and did a rough plot on the chart with parallel rules to uh, get us across the lake to, we think we're gonna go to Frankfurt today. So I think that's uh, enough whining for now. Say hey Michi. You're so cute. I haven't been paying close attention. We probably just passed the uh, Welcome to Michigan sign. I don't really know for sure. Right now, everything we're doing is via pilotage and dead reckoning. Dead reckoning out here with nothing to reference, so. Monday, July 15th, um, early afternoon. Uh, just past the Michigan state line somewhere ago. And about 1.30 Wisconsin time, 2.30 uh, Michigan time, we actually got to on our first day of sailing, hoist the sails. We've only been motoring for about five hours, so it's lovely to be under sail for the first time in uh, 12 months.
Bill C. Lake, so I move with the camera off and then come back um, after I've made my destination. So we've got about, I don't know, nine or ten knots of wind, and we've been making six to seven knot headway, so it's a beautiful thing. And here we are, and ever so grateful. Just before seven o'clock on July 15th, 2024, just sailed across Lake Michigan. Uh, relatively uneventful, motored the, uh, the first half of the way, and the wind picked up. And we had a nice little sail the rest of the way to Frankfurt. Anyway, messing with the camera instead of doing what I should be doing. So wind picked up uh, pretty consistently to close to 10 knots for a while, and then later uh, anywhere from 12 to 17 knots. Saw a little over 8 knots over the ground several times. Still doing 7 knots over the ground. Got the lighthouse plainly in view up there. No, it's probably not visible on this. Spirits are a little dampened, however. We have another mechanical issue. Anyway, I'm typically not very good about uh, filming anything at the end of the day. So, I thought I'd get this in. Maybe something as we're pulling into the channel at Frankfurt, if I can remember. There's Michi. Say Michi. <laughs> so it's Monday, July 15th, and it's close to 7.30. Michigan time, and we're just coming into Frankfurt. Um, Bill doused the sails, and as usual, it's lumpy and bumpy coming in. So, uh, no surprise, but we're here, grateful for that, and stay tuned.
job. I'm ever grateful for him.